Hey everyone, and welcome back. So today we're going to be reviewing Mousebot Escape from Cat Lab on the Nintendo Switch. Now Mousebot is a game that is about to release tomorrow on the Nintendo Switch and is being sold for a low, low price of only $4.99. So I'll be totally honest, I went into this review with very little expectations, but I'll tell you already, I was pleasantly surprised by what I played and experienced in playing through Mousebot. I do want to take a couple of seconds before we jump into the review to thank the developer for the review code. However, I do want to specify this is not a sponsored video. And also, if you like the content, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Now, Mousebot is a 3D auto runner where you control a robot mouse trying to escape from a lab run by humanoid cats. Now, story wise, there isn't much of a setup. However, what you do get is a few comical cutscenes when you open up a new lab with cat scientists being punished for basically not beating you yet and having to come up with new obstacles to try and trip you up. So let's jump straight into the controls. Now the controls are fairly simple. You steer Mousebot with the left joystick. Eventually you'll unlock the jump ability that will be mapped to the A button and also some sidestep abilities that will be mapped to both ZL and ZR triggers. Now, although the controls are very, very simple to pick up, the way you'll eventually have to put them into play will become actually quite complex, but we'll get into that shortly. Now, one very important thing to know if you do decide to pick up this game is do not judge its gameplay or its value by the first two labs, because you might mistake it for a thoughtless kids game. Now, the reason why is that Mousebot eases its difficulty curve by introducing obstacles one by one in six to 10 level sets called labs, ramping up all the way to a total of 88 levels. Now, trust me, by lab three, things will already start to get spicy. And by lab seven, you'll be facing some major, major obstacles for the final three lab sets. Now, I'm very pleased to report that for a game like this, the controls are very responsive, the frame rate is also very steady, and throughout my whole playthrough, I did not encounter any major bugs. Now, Mousebot isn't only about making your way to the end of the stage, there is also a set of sub-objectives for completionists, such as collecting a set number of cheese pieces through a single run, collecting the optional heart piece in each stage, completing a stage without taking any debts, and finally the most complicated one, actually completing the stage under a set time limit. Now it's also important to note that it's near impossible to complete all of these objectives through one single playthrough, meaning that there's automatically a replayability built into the game if you want to have a 100% completion. Also, if you want a tiny hint to make your playthrough easier, make sure to collect as many of the heart pieces as possible, especially in the early stages where they're easier to pick up because they will help you later in the game, giving you more lives to complete a stage. Because each stage does have a checkpoint system built in. However, after a certain number of deaths, you'll have to start the stage all over again. And how many deaths you have before having to restart the stage is ultimately decided by how many hearts you've collected so far. Now, if all of this isn't enough for replayability, even for diehards, there's a first person view that you can try to play the stages through, adding a level of difficulty to them and really making you feel as if you're a mouse running through a maze. And there is one final surprise in store. If you actually complete all 10 labs, you unlock an arcade mode, which is basically an endless play mode where all you're doing is aiming for the high score and your mouse actually runs through the different stages at double the speed. And by the way, just in case you were wondering, all those cheese pieces you're collecting actually also have a use. You can use them to buy cosmetic upgrades to personalize the look of your mouse bot. At this point, you're probably realizing why I begun this review by saying that I was pleasantly surprised by everything I got included in a $5 eShop game. You're probably also wondering if I found any downsides to Mousebot. And ultimately, I did find one major downside, but it's caused by the auto runner genre in itself. And that's the fact that although they're throwing new levels, new obstacles at you on a regular basis, ultimately the gameplay eventually does become repetitive. 
And although I can't fault Mousebot for this point, it still doesn't do anything revolutionary to break up this downside. But in the end, it's offering solid gameplay and controls, 88 levels with gradual difficulty, a ton of replayability for completionists, cosmetic upgrades to keep you interested, and an unlockable arcade mode, all in a $5 package. Look, I'm not saying that Mousebot is going to be nominated by anyone for Game of the Year or make a top 10 list. I'm just saying it's offering an extremely solid package for its sale price. So now let's move on to the verdict on this game. Now, don't forget that when I give my rating on a game, price is a huge factor. And if you want to see what scale I used, it's down in the description of the video. Now, I'm going to be giving Mousebot a rating of 8, making it a great game game. For its sale price, it's hard to beat its value, however, it doesn't do anything revolutionary to push its score to the highest levels. So that is pretty much it for my review of Mousebot Escape from Cat Lab on the Nintendo Switch. Let me know if you picked up the game and what you thought of it in the comments down below. And lastly, just on the way out, as I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget that if you did like this content, please hit the like button. It's the best way to help the channel. Subscribe if you aren't already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.